Thank you for joining us here on the News at 4. I'm Shira Matsuzawa. And I'm Doug Petcash. We begin with a story that's been developing all day. Police say a man murdered his mother's killer all in the span of 24 hours. The two related stabbings happened in Nampa and Avamore. Must, now one man is in jail and two up. people are dead. Yeah, a lot of new information coming in at uh, the last minute here. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley joins us now with what we know so far. Jude. Well, sure, just about an hour ago, we got a press release from Nampa PD about a woman who was stabbed to death last night at the 2100 block of West Grouse Street in Nampa. And this is a live look at that area. Police Yo, say Nike's the suspect awesome. in that stabbing is 39-year-old awesome. Jesus Ureta III of Nampa. Police say Ureta knew the woman and they were looking for him overnight. The Ada County Sheriff's Office says a call came in just before 7 o'clock this morning. Mm -hmm. Deputies were directed to the mobile gas station parking lot near the entrance to the Avalon community where they found a man dead inside a car. They found the victim slumped over with a stab wound inside of a running parked car. Paramedics performed first aid and took the man to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. That man was Ureta and the suspect, the suspect in last night's Nampa murder, I should say. Investigators taped off the gas station and on the other side of crime scene tape, there was this dark blue Buick Regal with front fender and tire damage. Deputies set up a tent beside the car. Deputies arrested 31-year-old Raul Alexander Cuevas Raul. after they found him in a car at this Chevron gas station about five miles down Highway 55 off of Beacon Light Road. They took him into custody after talking to him. Similar scenes at the two gas stations. Uh, the crime scene tape at the Chevron gas station blocked off parts of it and surrounded a silver Kia. Now, Cuevas is being... Yo, this is mad information. I don't know what's going on still. <laughs> Not going to lie to y'all. Just know somebody got stabbed being held in the Ada County Jail on a first-degree murder charge. Now, the woman who was killed in Nampa was 52-year-old Michelle Luna, who is Cuevas' mother. The mm. case is still under investigation. To make a long story short, yeah, thank you. a man killed a woman. The woman's son killed the man who killed her. Uh, makes sense. That's the gist of it. And he's being charged with first-degree murder. Was he right doing that? I don't think so. Do I understand? Yeah. I get it. Do he, I like, do he know that he, well, you gotta know. I feel like, but some niggas just be reacting. Like, first of all, when you, when somebody dies, the first person they go to is a, is a, is a significant other or the spouse or whatever you want to call it. Like, you feel me? Somebody close. Because usually, just statistically wise, usually you're killed by somebody close to you. Usually. So, yeah. So, I mean, maybe he knew something. Everybody I'm actually curious to you guys. If you guys... Find out your mom gets murked. I mean, let's say you had a good relationship with her, okay? You didn't hate her. She wasn't some person yeah, who came you. You got to put that in there. Hypothetical. She gets murked by some dude. Mm -hmm. Do you care? Do you then turn Take around less and, kill and give more. It's a great way to live and a smarter way to go. Growing that's less weathered and less, where's the flavor? With less impact on the land being less wasteful and more tasty. And you're alone in a room with him and you got a weapon. Yeah, I think you. Something? I think you probably get him up out of there. You can answer honestly. There's no right or wrong answer. I'm just curious. I think you probably get him. Up I would out say that for me, it would be incredibly hard to not to somebody do something rob me of my mother. And I had an opportunity. Now, of course, <laughs> the issues with these kinds of actions is that yeah, the law. Yeah, 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 law. Not just the law. This presumes the guilt of the person who yeah. did it to the mother. Yeah. Yeah. What if you get the wrong person? Yeah, that's this is a problem of vigilante too. justice, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't this believe in that shit, man. You ain't Batman, nigga. <laughs> Especially if you black, and you're done. Nope, can't do no shit like this. If you get the wrong person, you even is you even worse off. You feel what I'm saying? So, I'm I'm hoping that it's crazy to sound. Hopefully, he got the right person than just killing an innocent person that actually didn't commit it. Because then, because then, then you took an innocent life and then threw your life away as well. But on both ends, I understand it, though. I understand both sides of it. Uh, it'll be hard not to do something to somebody. And you know, or it's, it comes back. Oh, and it comes somebody close to you, like a, a mother, a father. You know what I'm saying? Like, that should be. That's really, that's, uh, it's no, like he said, it's no right answer. That's a hard one. This is fine for a lot of people because he got the right person. 
but sometimes they get the wrong person, and an innocent person, innocent person dies because someone's wrath. Yeah, unless unless you were there when that shit. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You but it. even yeah. You in the perfect scenario know. where you the got, got the right person, you seen them do it, like yeah, I, I, they, I, I ain't even mad at you. And the reason why he got first degree is because he planned it. Obviously, he found out the information, got the weapon, drove there. There's plenty of time. That's what makes it premeditated. Yeah. Is that he thought beforehand. He had a lot of time to think about what he did. Twenty four hours yeah. is a long time. And, and he succeeded. He succeeded. So, yeah. He thought about it. But you, do I understand it? Hell yeah. Hell I, fucking yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, bro. Hey, listen, listen. Bro. I ain't nothing to do with, like, you You robbed me of one of the most precious people in my life. Yeah. The I, one who I'd give everything for. Like, yeah, I could understand the sentiment I wanted to die for that. I know it's 100% wrong, life but away from Jesus. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not 100% wrong. It's oh, I'm wrong. Not actually, okay, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me it's rephrase great. that. Re, 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 rephrase, um, let me rephrase that because you're right. It's not morally right. Yeah, that's slippery. Into slippery. the confines that's of slippery the slippery slope. I ain't gonna lie. I, like I understand why I shouldn't do that shit. Do my mama would want me to do that? No, she no, wouldn't. She wouldn't. For sure, Actually, she wouldn't. I, I think my mama would be like, "Get that bitch." Uh, huh? Really, uh, gangster? You think so? My mama is. If she knew no, she going to jail. Yeah, I about to say yeah. It, your mother probably wouldn't want you to do it because of the repercussions. If you could get away with a scotch free, I think the conversation would be a lot different. But because of the ram- ramifications, the repercussions of that action. On behalf of her, she wouldn't want you to do it. And she wouldn't want you to have blood in your hands or, like, be... You feel me? Because once you take a life, too, bro, you got to realize it's, it's it's a mental aftermath. Like, it's a lot you got to psychologically deal with after that. You got to digest some real internal-ish after that. You know what I mean? That's not no just cakewalk. Prime example, look at the niggas that come back from wars in the military and shit like that when they went to... When they got sent off and went to war. Them niggas don't come back regular. They done seen some shit. They done killed somebody. These they hands a weapon, a light, a, a literal, like killing utensil. You know what I mean? If they don't got a gun, they got a knife. If they don't got a knife, they got the hands. If they don't got the hands, they find something. You know what I mean? And you see, usually sometimes they see some shit. Their best friend died. They might, they might have killed the, a kid over there in, in di- some of these different places in Vietnam, in 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 uh, Iraq, Iran, all of these different places, bro. So. Very, very uh, psychological. You don't just kill somebody and walk away with it. Like, walk away scot-free. As far as mentally, at least. Like, let's say you get away with the crime. Like, mentally, that shit is going to get you. Get Maybe not now, <laughs> but You know what? I'm actually curious. Let me call my mama right now. I'm actually curious. I, I think I know the answer. Yeah. I feel like I know I the answer that... for most parents. Hello? Hello, so I didn't did this. دهنا؟ آه دهنا أنا قلت أنا قدر متأكد في اللي جنب بر. خير إن شاء الله. إيشي إيشي هيدا إن سيتويشن أوكي رياليتي هذا اللي أوكي. إيشي أنا دسو أنا شيء كقدر دلش. إف يو هاد ا تشويس سيدا بين شوا أنا شيء إني ساتشو إن دقدر دلاتشو تفعل قدر دلش. أنا دسو لني كقدر دلش. آه. إن أنا تم مكفل ريفينج مالته. آه. You gonna say no? She's Muslim. No, this is a Muslim one. I can no, listen. No. In Islam, bro, is is like even in most religions, bro, killing is just not one of those things, especially not for revenge. Like you know what I mean? It's just people don't want that, like that conscience on you, like that energy on you. you don't even want. Ah, uh, she let me. I already know what you're gonna say. No. No. Okay. Allah Allah <laughs> Yo, what I tell y'all, like it's just, it's just, it's it's not even that. Like it's just love, man. Like just let God handle that. That's just what it is, especially with religion. It, it, with most like people who actually she, practice. She, Papa, they perfect answer. No, thank you, sweat. I love you. Too. I love you, child. My mom said, "Hey, listen, if I die, it's my time." But you said, 
Allah will get them. Yeah, I know that's what I understand. <laughs> that's what I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Some, it's some, it's some I form, understand. like, it's going to come back I around. I got that. I got that. That's what's funny. <laughs> At some point, yeah. That's one of the family gotta... examples. You remember that person? Yeah. Yeah, well, well, well God going to cover them. And then God also gave me you. I was like, okay, that's a pretty good compliment. You know, I said, I'll take that. Let me have them all. She said, yo, will revenge bring me back? I said, no. She's like, then that's fine. If I die, it was my time. And Allah will give him what he deserves. <laughs> hey, man, if you, if you like my mom's comments, you would leave a like in the comments below. Oh, got fat. No, 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 le monsieur te tue toi. Est-ce que tu voudrais que moi je tue le monsieur? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I think, I think, uh, a pre preacher's Haitian, right? If I'm not mistaken. Hey, listen. We go back. Zoes getting their independence. They don't horse around, nigga. <laughs> Zoes don't, they don't play around, nigga. You feel know I me? Mean? I'm not saying they violent or nothing like that, but like, listen. You come for this, nigga, they ain't coming for you. You know what I mean? They seek for this. They seek for this. Why? Oh. No. Yeah. Pourquoi? Est-ce que tu voudrais que je tue le monsieur? Oh my days, man! Tu peux pas juste répondre à la question? Non. Pourquoi? Yo, parents really be saying the same thing, bro. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's very interesting. Mm. Well, no, that makes sense. Okay. You're a goal achieving go getter. You made your schedule. You called the shots. You you've got this. All right. C'est bon. Pretty fucking similar. Yeah, pretty consistent. <laughs> but that I think that's and that's the right sentiment. A parent should want that. Yeah, I, think I, that I think there's a lot of things that there's a lot of has to do as, as well with being religious. Like your mom is religious. Partly. Partly. Yes. Yeah. I, I think most of it is just your parent. You don't want your child to suffer. Yeah. You've suffer. already gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you just don't want your kid to yeah. have to suffer afterwards. So would you want? Would you want your kid to be like? No, yeah. of course not. Of course not. There's not even an ounce of me that would want that. The idea of my kid suffering the rest of their life in jail and suffering every day would make me so fucking sad. You'd want that? No, no. of course not. I'm just you're looking at the camera bro, bro. smiling. I'm like, I know. I know. I'm like, I'm just... I would have been shocked, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, like, it's a double. Oh, yeah. That's a double oh, suffer. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, it's yeah. funny, but it's funny how we think that. You know, what I mean, like for a second, I, I, I think of doing it, right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you understand that you wouldn't want that for your son, for your son or your daughter or whatever, or whatnot. Yeah. It's thinking, but you would think about in, it. in a moment. Yeah. Well, you you just you think about the pain and the absence of the person, the hurt. Yeah. You want to think of some way to remedy that or fill that void. Yeah. And you think doing this will fix that? But yeah, you... in the moment, and it's it's momentary. It, it it'll pass. It that that feeling, that feeling of instinctively wanting to react to that, it'll pass. Unfortunately, though, sometimes people just it's no it's no moment. There's no time. There's just a reaction, and then boom. Now, based off a reaction, now they're 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 it costs them. That reaction costs them, like dearly. Uh, yeah, nah. As a as a parent, I fear. If ninety five percent of the parents' answers are gonna sound exactly like that, understand both aspects. Uh, do I th it's it's no real right or wrong answer, bro. Like, I get both sides. In the moment, I would want to do something reactive. Later on down the line, I would think about it like, nah, I wouldn't want to do that, and I wouldn't want my kids to do that if the roles were reversed because they're suffering twice. You're suffering twice. You have this loss of a person who you can't even celebrate or whatever because you're behind bars and you're behind bars. You can't do nothing for nobody now. Barely for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, unfortunate. Let me know what y'all think, though. I really, I genuinely want to know. That's how I feel, though, man. Let me know how y'all feeling.